Good morning, we're back again. It's a Wednesday morning and I'm just like getting my orders um, ready for the day. Um, not too many today, so like not a busy one, but um, I'm doing it just before I go off to the boot sale. Um, starts at half past seven, so it's a fairly late start, this one. So I'm going to like um, drop the parcels off and then um, get to the boot sale. Let's see what I pick up. Right, so that's all uh, dropped off now. Um, weather has definitely taken a turn. You can see it is raining. So would that stop you from going to the boot sale? Would you still go along and actually have a look? Um, I'm of the opinion that I'm still gonna actually um, see if there's anyone set up there. Um, I'm hoping that like, the rain won't actually last and uh, it's just a passing shower, but it could also mean that um, I get to the boot sale and it actually is a complete washout and uh, people don't bother, but I'm hoping it's actually a very light kind of shower, but we will find out. So I've driven about a mile and a half and surprisingly, like the roads are completely dry. It's like there's been absolutely no rain which kind of like makes you think to yourself like if you'd just like woken up and actually like looked out the window and saw it was like a bit drizzly would you actually like just say that like, oh, sod it i'm just gonna go back to bed um and uh previously i probably would but now i'm trying to come up like, really push myself um yeah i'm glad i actually got up and and, and made the effort as you can see like literally nothing on the uh, the roads even the windscreen is actually completely dry now as well, so maybe it was just like a, a passing shower, hopefully. But uh, I've still got another 15 minutes to get to the uh, the boot sale, so anything could happen. Right, just arrived. Let's go and have a uh, let's go and have a rummage. See what we can actually find. Looks reasonable. Um, Two, four, six, probably about eight rows. So I think I'm going to uh, make a start on this one just here. Couple of pairs of trainers. How much are you looking for them? They are size seven. Yeah. All those are ten pounds, and the sketches are fifteen. Okay. Would you do? And I know this is like it's early. Would you do like another four pairs for thirty? No, sorry. What's the best you would actually do on the four pairs? Uh, thirty-six. Okay. Yeah. Um, just having a quick look at that one. Just a little bit more. What's the um, phones? Um, they're brand new, three phones. I'd like twenty-five. Yeah. <laughs> that eighty was paid, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go thirty-five for the four. Go on then. Yeah, go on. Let's do that. Yes. Right, let's find you the others. Well, that's certainly going to help, Paul. It's certainly going to help. Right, so, you have that one. Yeah. You have that one. Yeah. You have that one. And you have... How much is there? That one. Is that right? That's it. Should be That's four. It. Is that correct? Yeah, that is it. And that's the, the sketch. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you. They're fifteen sketches. Right. 
35. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank really you. appreciate that. You have a good Thank rest you. of the day. subscribers of course you can what's your name it's rob yeah. rob what's your first name I know simon you're a gen yeah i know you're a gentleman hi there how are we doing this is abby abby. abby yeah nice to see you got the old one. got the gopro on yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I, yeah. so i'll try that i'm probably going to get this one out not today tomorrow i would have thought so okay, yeah. so like do you do a bit of reselling as well yeah we do yeah yeah i'm, I'm off i work in a week but yeah you've just not long given up over you yeah yeah, yeah. So that's good yeah, yeah i've watched you quite a bit yeah so Good. Right, well, like, it's always nice. I always feel like a complete fraud, I have to say. When people come up to me and go, like, hello, Simon. Oh, uh, oh hi. Yeah, but yeah, uh, no, honestly, yeah. it's so nice. Yeah. So, like, and I, I do, I like... said, I wonder if we see him today, because I'm off uh, in the week, like I said. Yeah. I was considering, like, uh, so I'm over in Seven Oaks. Yeah. I, um, that, yeah. It was chucking down with rain. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, I was. I found them before I came up here. Mr. I was here. Yeah, you got Pedham as well. This is. Pedham, um, yeah, I'm there. That, and I was considering not coming here and actually going down to Whitstable. Oh, right. I was thinking about going down there. So that's a, that's a big one down yeah. there, even on a Wednesday. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's a trek though. Yeah. It's an hour, hour and ten minutes to get there. Anyway, like yeah. I'm going to leave you to like get a thing. Rob, like kind of like, but ping me a message on uh, on the video as well. Okay. Lovely, cheers, Rob. Good right? man. Yeah, How are we doing? doing? Yeah, good. You? Yeah, busy. Getting busy, some. Yeah. That, yeah. Bit, bit of I'll, I'll bit do of vlogging. I'll for now, and then I'll get one of those eventually. Yeah, I've just got to save my storage so turn it on and off. <laughs> mate, you're like very active. Yeah. Like, mate, it's really yeah, good. Well fine. done. Trying, so that's the plan. Go on YouTube. But you reckon you need to get one of these? Yeah. So I know they've changed the TikTok money, haven't they? As well. It's harder. It is definitely harder. Yeah. Picked up anything yet? Kipling, Adidas, Brazuca. Very damaged, but yeah. I keep it for my. Uh, not Brazuca. Uh, yeah, the 2014 one. Oh, okay. Keep it in my room. And yeah, yeah. Today. Two kids' football tops. What about you? Yeah. I've, li I've literally just got here. I've, like, I've just done a deal on like, a pair of some trainers. Oh, nice. yeah. so, trainers are good to sell as well. Asics as well. Quick, yeah. Exactly. So I'm definitely like, I'm trying to kind of like do not just like the clothing. Mm. And especially with uh, kind of the video as well. Mm. People like are bored of like picking up clothes. Like that yeah, People no, don't no. like it. So I if, hear it. if I can like pick up like a, what did I pick up yesterday? A stereo system, mm. a, like a portable to yeah, it, and a. I feel like clothes just sit. A baby like carrier that. as well I picked up yesterday. Yeah. So. I'm, I'm at Peckham. Oh, okay. I'm selling. Oh, are you? Yeah. Okay. It's quite, it's, is it 10 till 2 there? Yeah. It's, it's a bit more expensive, but you yeah, still yeah. do. Like, I've never mate, done. My mate works there and yeah. he still picks up a decent bit. So. Oh, definitely, I need to like, try it. I need um, to like, I'm go a little bit further afield, definitely. But um, it's worth, it's more like high end. It's kind of in yeah. between resale and yeah. online price. Okay. It's, it's not like the one do bound stuff. But you, yeah, still, you still find stuff like that. But if you are free or I might be doing it in another two weeks time as well. Mate, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. That'd be good. Yeah. Right. All right. Good luck there. See you later. See you kid. Do our uh, four on those. Yeah. yeah. Why the heck not? Hey, my friend. Your diamond. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. Morning, how are we doing? You alright? How much you got on your, uh, your boots? Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'll do those. Very little boots as well. Uh, yeah, I'll do those both. Okay. 
actually. I'm gonna like and change my mind just on those yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. Right, I'm just gonna go for the the other ones. That's all right. Thank you. There we go. Thank you very much. How much you got on your uh, trainers? Three. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. It does, surprisingly, it does happen more regularly than you think. How much you got on the uh, Rubik's Cube? Yeah, that's fine, I'll do that. Uh, that's my bag. Oh, sorry. That's all right. It's not a problem. <laughs> there's some good. There's some good stuff in there. All right. Okay. <laughs> All the then. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Thank you very much. <laughs> Morning. How much you got in your mugs? Um, do you want to do all four for a Yeah. Do four? All four for a fiver. Would you do like five, four for a four pound, pound yeah. each? Is that all right? Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> Thank you. Exactly right. That's that's pretty much it for me um, for the boot sale today. So I'm going to now like head to um, the charity shops. So I'm going to go to sort of, the local town to here. Um, I probably am going to like pop into TK Maxx. Um, they've been like kind of like saying that uh, it's going to be like the uh, final reduction, um, hopefully in the next few days. So you never know, could be today. That'd be an absolute touch if it is. So I'm going to go in there um, and then I'm going to do some more uh, charity shopping. Right, just went in uh, TK Maxx and still um, definitely not on the final reduction, so um, didn't pick up anything from there. Um, grabbed myself a, um, a quick bite to eat from uh, Greg's, got a cappuccino and a um, bacon um, roll. So now it's uh, time to hit the charity shops. Right, I'm going to give myself a challenge, which is um, I'd like to pick up one item that's not clothing related. And I also want to like give out at least one business card um, to someone in the charity shop, um, ideally to like, start building relationships. So that's the goal for today. First one, Oxfam. Right, so that's challenge one completed. Got myself a backpack, so I can use that while I'm going around. Um, that was from PDSA. Now I'm going to Demelza. So this is actually quite a big one, so let's have a look in here. All right, so that's uh, turned into a little bit of a uh, kind of like, what the heck am I doing? So this looks like it's actually a um, Lawn Bowls um, official's 
measuring kit and all that side of it. So um, I had a quick look at comps, but couldn't really see any salt, but there's one um, up for sale, which is close to like the 300 pound mark, I think it was. Um, so for 15 pounds, I thought it was definitely worth a, a pickup. Um, I'm gonna definitely do a bit more research into it, but uh, yeah, hopefully that could be absolutely incredible. Also picked up some um, New Balance trainers as well. I do like really well with those ones. Had a little bit over, kind of like the 12 pound mark, but all in all, very good. I think I'm gonna have to do a, uh, a drop off at the car. It's quite rare. All right, this is what I've actually picked up so far. Um, and this one may be incredible. Let's open it up. So this is a Bowles umpires kit. Back home now, um, and that's been a full-on morning. Um, well, like I'd say, like an it wasn't just a morning; it kind of like turned into uh, to lunchtime. So um, yeah, uh, got a good amount. So I'm going to quickly run through what I picked up. Um, really surprisingly, like and very little in the way of um, clothing actually. Um, so I think I've only got like eight pieces of clothes, which is like really quite low for me um but i have also got a few weird and wonderful bits um and i've also got like a good amount of um shoes and trainers as well so i'm gonna quickly run through what i picked up um i'll give you some costumes of what i've actually paid for them as well um and uh, then what i'll do is i'll uh, kind of like put on um, what i think i'm gonna love you selling it for so um right let's quickly get on with it first one is a um a nike tech fleece so you can tell it's a tech fleece because you've got just inside the little logo it's the rubberized logo on there um paid 10 pound for that one so a little bit up on kind of like price but still they do like and like sell well so that's that one um and then the next one which is a bit of a like I think I'm taking a bit of a punt on it. So it's a woman's um, rain jacket, but this is a football jacket. So AFC Reading. So it's uh, like, kind of like a fairly like low league, non-league. Um, you can tell I don't know anything. My apologies uh, kind of like about being a complete heathen when it comes to like football. Um, made by Joma, J-O-M-A, um, and it's a size 12. Um, so I, I'm I'm not sure what did I pay for that one, five ninety nine. So that's a little bit more of a um, experiment, which is possibly not the best thing to do as experiment, but uh, I'm going to give it a go anyway. Uh, same place I picked up this uh, Levi denim, denim shirt. So nice thing it's actually got the pearl snap um, buttons on it. The snap buttons on there it's not a vintage one it's a more modern uh, one it's got the more modern tags but size large on it paid 6.99 for that one just quite like the look of that one then we've got a jumper by fred perry logo just on there it's small again so it's an extra small with this one and paid three pound fifty so that's from the ymca fairly lightweight one that one uh, now this one, but the next one, which is a bit of a, like, a strange one. So I, I came across a shop that was selling, and it, it did like, kind of like it, that they, I think they were um, water damaged clothing. Um, so pretty much everything in there like did smell of like, kind of like damp and mildew, which so it wasn't particularly pleasant. Um, but prices were pretty good. So I found one, um, two items, one which is a pair of trainers and one which is a jacket. Um, so 
Yes, it definitely does like kind of, um, kind of like have a, a little bit of a smell to it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this in the washing machine, give it a good clean up um, and put some deter detergent and then like hang it up outside. So it makes it like another thing. But so what this is, is kind of a, it's a woman's um, jacket, come coat. It's got the belt on it as well. It's by Adidas, but it's a collaboration. So it's Stella McCartney and Adidas. So I think it's a size 34. I'll double check the actual thing. So even on the back, it's got the logo on there as well. Checking the tags, they're all correct. So tags are all good. It's got the date on there as well. So that is a 2010. So it's like it's a pretty old jacket, but looks in lovely, lovely condition. So I paid £10 for that one. So a little bit of like work on it, but that should like do very well. I have got sold Adidas still on the company stuff before, and it does do really well. Uh, then we've got a jumper, which is All Saints. You can see it's got like a fairly, I suppose like a little bit like a zebra print, maybe. Mm, maybe not. Um, but paid pound for this one. And that is, I think it's an extra small as well. That's just a normal small. But um, yeah, it, it's, it's fine. It's nothing nice with it. It's a little bit faded, but for a pound, I thought I'd uh, give it a go. And then we've got another couple of, um, but these are some um, green moleskin trousers uh, by, this is by James Mead. James Mead, just on there. But they are really heavy, like heavy duty. Um, cotton, but they're kind of the hunting kind of style to it, and paid a pound for that. Um, I'm trying to remember exactly where that was from, St Christopher's or something like that, I can't remember. Um, but then the last kind of piece of clothing, which is another pair of jeans, um, just a pair of like super, um, uh, super dry ones, so nothing too special, but these ones are the copper black edition, and they are the corporal slim. So these seems that this particular kind of style um, seems to be do quite well. I think they've actually discontinued these ones. So the people who do like that style, I don't think that you can actually pick them up anymore. Just double checking to see if it's like a salvage. Looks, I would say that's probably a salvage seam on it. I might be wrong. It might be slightly like, let's see if you can actually see that in light. We've got a thing. Might not be. I, I'll double check that on there. I should know by now. Looks fairly salvage. But that, um, that's all the clothing. So not kind of like vast amounts, just eight bits. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to now go on to um, the shoes um, and um, boots. Right. So this is the haul of uh, shoes, trainers and boots. Um, so 13 um, pairs in total. So um, I'm going to start off with um, the ones just over here. So these are, um, I need to like, get the actual name of them, but uh, they're the Adidas uh, heel support. I think they're called, but um, looking, yeah, like really good condition. Barely been worn at all, actually. Um, paid five pounds for those ones. Then we like go on to these. So if you can see that yellow stitching, that indicates that's gonna be like a pair of Dr. Martins. And we've got airwear at the back. A Little bit of like detailing on, um, on there as well. And paid 10 pound for those ones. Um, but uh, yeah, look really like good condition. Right, then we've got a pair of New Balance. So slightly smaller ones, these ones. So New Balance, uh, if I can actually physically see it, you'll probably be able to see it better than I can. Um, what did I pay for those ones? I think they were 12. Yeah, I paid 12 pounds for those ones. So slightly smaller women's size. And then we've got a big pair of like New Balance as well. Um, size 11 and a half I think these ones are um yeah needed a little bit of a clean up definitely so as you can see like just on here um I'll get all this off 
give the soles a good like clean up as well but uh really good like pair of like kind of trainers again 12 pound for those which potentially is a little bit kind of like pricey but if i'm kind of like going for um a listing value of around about 50 50 to 60 um i think kind of 10 to 12 is not too bad all right so then we've got a pair of these which are a pair of cowboy boots these are absolutely epic um really really good condition now downsides to them um which is i'm trying to actually find a brand on there which is not ideal um i can see like and like where they're manufactured um i know they're a size nine and a half um, and paid 10 pound for these so uh i think condition of them needs a little bit of like care and attention um soles all look good square toed um but even like kind of that i i'm sure i'm going to get a good amount I'll, I'll try and put some comps up right then we got a pair of um clarks so like fairly standard look to be like hardly worn at all as you can see got the clarks bit on there so nice bit of detailing on it and paid four pound for those ones so nice and cheap um and then we've got i think these were the a car boot um pickup so i'm trying to for life me remember what i paid maybe four pound for these ones um so a pair of uh, nike just do it again like these are all going to go through the wash um most of these i personally will put through the washing machine i know there's like some people would absolutely like murder me for that um but i don't seem to have too much issues but uh, i will kind of like give them um a little bit of like tlc so if the um, soles need a bit of a uh, a scrub i can do that as well um but i think all these um asics i paid what was it <laughs> probably about eight pound each i think they were um these are probably the worst condition ones um there's a little bit of wear to it but the actual like kind of um heel part of it is absolutely fine so that's normally the bit that kind of like people look out for um these ones they're like very much like more your know, trail shoes really good grip on the bottom there hardly look worn at all again like eight pound nine pound i think for those um, another pair of the gels gel pulse 13s again all those from the same person um, then we've got like, a pair of adidas again nothing not too spe uh, special on these ones uh, cloud foam author light uh, what size are they uk 10 and a half uh, i think i paid like a like, four pound for those um, and then my last pair, which is a pair of Converse, um, paid £2 for these ones. A um, bit of wear on the back. Soles look okay. So, yeah, a little bit of like, peeling off of that bit there. So, potentially, that might be a little bit of a fail, but... Uh, I may be able to get a bit of money for it. But that's the haul of um, shoes. Right, and the last couple of bits, which are um, definitely like and like the, a bit more weird and wonderful. A um, couple of them, I'm not convinced why I actually like kind of like physically like collected them. Um, I think I was trying to actually prove to myself that uh, I still had the ability to like pick up things that were going to make me money. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure, but uh, let me quickly show you what I picked up. Right, first one, which is this, which is a Rubik's cage. Um, it looks like you can actually like take the squares out, drop it, twist it, flip it with it. Um, so it's got the box in there. Um, paid like literally a couple of pounds for it. Um, and looking at the comps, I don't think it's worth that much. Um, six to eight pounds potentially. So yeah, not great. Um, the next one, which is these ones, I think I mentioned these ones in the earlier video, um, but these are Cadbury's Vintage Mugs, um, so the chocolate chunks. Um, set of four, um, I think they'll probably go for about £6 each, um, and I paid a pound each for them. Right, and then 
lastly, um, this one I've never seen before and um, it kind of just like, uh, it got my interest when I first saw this bit. It was just like, kind of like um, in the charity shop, like sitting around, um, good quality, like on the case. It's got um, the security on there. So it's got the, um, uh, the actual um, code on it um, and 15 pounds. So this here, so when I open it up and this is actually what I saw. Right, so what we've got in here, this is all the, um, dare I say that, the professional um, bits for measuring lawn bowls. So all to do with the rules and regulations. We've got tape measures. We've got kind of um, really like, oh, even things like this, where you can actually go into, um, if it's, you're getting down to a professional level of this game, um, kind of like you've actually got the real, um, kind of like the gauges for everything on here. Um, so at £15, um, I thought it was like worth a risk. So I've seen um, kind of like there's, um, there's one listed. Um, it is brand new, the one listed, um, and that's up for nearly £300. Um, there are um, solds. I've gone through like Terapeak to actually have a look at solds. Um, average sold of these are about 178. So even if I kind of like conservatively say that um, like 150, um, I will be absolutely made up there. So 10x in my money, um, 15 into 150. Yeah, sounds like good to me. So, um, as I say, like, kind of like, yeah, some, uh, some real mixed bag today. So, as you can tell, I'm really trying to actually, like, pick up other things, not just, like, the clothing. A um, couple of reasons for that is, like, I'm still kind of, like, finding it quite difficult to get enough clothing to um, hit my target. Um, but also, like... Um, instantly, with this kind of, like, this bowls um, umpire kit... Um, the margins on some of these like everything items are incredible um 15 pound into 150 conservatively uh, it's uh yeah so maybe i'm the one who's actually been a bit of a fool and not picking up other things um i still think um it's important to like kind of um, have a niche so i still class myself as being a niche seller but I'm also like looking to like pick up a few a few extra bits and pieces that are going to make me some good margins. Do I think the mugs and the Rubik's cube will? Probably not. Um, and uh, I, I will make a decision on whether I even like. Do I say like list them? Um, I'm not sure if it's actually worth my while. Um, definitely the the bowl set. Yes, a hundred percent. Um, all the clothes, uh, all the shoes, boots, all that side of it. Yeah, they're going to like um, fit in my model as well. But um, yeah, so a little bit kind of like different for me today. Um, and it's now, oh, crikey, it's nearly half past three in the afternoon. Um, the day has absolutely flown by. Um, I've got so much to do still. Um, I need to get this like washed and like out onto the line. Um, I've still got listings to do, I've got photographs to do as well, so it could be a long, long day for me today. Um, more than likely, it's probably going to go into like late evening. Um, but hey, that's the decision I have made. Um, so if I want to get everything done, I've got to like kind of hustle hard. Uh, so I think I'm going to leave it there for the video today. Um, hopefully you found this one interesting. Um, I've definitely found it a little bit more kind of, uh, kind of like... I'll say interesting but um, certainly like it's challenged me without a doubt so um, it was also like lovely to see a couple of um, kind of uh, people at the boot sale um, some subscribers um, like honestly I'm blown away when people come in to uh, come up to say hello to me um, and I feel genuinely like kind of like really touched so Thank you. Um, I'll try and put um, your details on there. Um, and um, yeah, like uh, I think I'll, uh, as I say, I'm going to leave it there. So as I say, I think I'm going like, to leave it there. Hopefully that's um, been interesting. Um, I'm going to probably do another live at some point. Um, so I was lucky enough to like to go on to um, Adam at the flip room. Um, his... Um, his live 
and I massively enjoyed that one. So I think um, it'd be nice for me to actually like see if I can get a few other resellers um, onto my channel. Uh, there's no reason why I can't kind of like see um, what other people are doing. Um, so in the comments, if you could let me know like who you think would be a good person for me to um, get onto my live, I can always reach out to them, see if they would want to like have a chat with me. Um, but uh, yeah, if you've got any other questions or anything else you need, like you know where I am, like just leave me a comment. Um, I read every single like comment and question, and I try to reply to everyone as well. Um, again, really appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.